everyone, I'm Kevin Coleman, Weber's Grilling Expert. Today we're going to be discussing how to smoke on your gas grill. Now for some of you Weber owners, you might have a burner and a smoker box on your grill. Now if you don't, Weber has some accessories that can turn your gas grill into a smoker. We have a smoker box that you can purchase. We also have disposable smoker trays. And later on in this video, we're going to show you how to make your own. Now before we get started, the first thing that we need to do is soak our wood chips for at least 30 minutes. You want them to smolder inside your smoker box. If you throw them in dry, they're going to flash and you're not going to get a lot of smoke flavor out of them. Check the recipe for the amount you'll need. Now let's start our gas grill and make sure you follow all safety and lighting instructions. To light a gas grill, first open the lid so the unlit gas fumes don't collect in the cook box. Now slowly open the valve on your propane tank or natural gas line all the way and wait a minute for the gas to travel through the gas line. Turn all the burners on high, including the smoker burner. Close the lid and preheat the grill for 10 to 15 minutes. When the temperature reaches 500 degrees Fahrenheit, use a long-handled grill brush to clean the cooking grates. In most cases, you will be smoking with indirect, usually low heat. Turn off the burners in the middle and turn down the outside burners to the suggested temperature in the recipe. For now, keep the dedicated burner under the smoker box turned to high. Now we're going to open the smoker box. Just make sure you use your long handle tongs and a grill mitt. Grab some of the soaked wood chips with tongs, let the excess water drain off, and drop the wood chips into the smoker box. Spread out the wood chips so they cover the bottom of the box directly exposing as many chips as possible to the burner below. Continue to add as many wood chips as the recipe suggests. Close the lid of the smoker box. Close the lid of the grill and wait a few minutes for smoke to pour out of the grill. Now it's time to lower the heat of the dedicated burner under the smoker box to a medium or low so that the wood will smolder slowly. Now we're going to arrange the food in the middle of our cooking grates. Make sure that you put it over the unlit burners and always make sure you get the lid closed as soon as possible. Controlling the temperatures of a gas grill is not a matter of opening and closing vents, it's simply a matter of turning knobs. In most cases you will adjust one or two of the main burners during cooking. If you want to smoke at very low temperatures, below 250 degrees, turn off all the main burners and use the dedicated burner under the smoker box for heat. Keep in mind that most of the smoke will accumulate around the smoker box. The closer your food is to the smoker box, the more smoke flavor it will absorb. Now if you don't have a smoker box on your grill, you can always purchase a stainless steel smoker box or our disposable smoke trays that you can put directly on your cooking grates. The metal will conduct the heat of your grill to the soaked wood chips you pile inside the box. The holes in the lid will direct the fragrance of smoke over your food. When the wood chips have burned out, you can simply open the lid and add more if you like. And if you don't have these two options, we're going to show you how to make your own. Place drained wood chips in a foil pan. Cover with aluminum foil and poke holes in the foil to allow the smoke to escape. Place the pan directly on the flavorizer bars over an unlit burner or two, preferably in the back corner. Put the cooking grates in place, turn on the grill, with all the burners on high and close the lid. When smoke appears, begin cooking your food, adjusting the temperature of the grill as needed. You can't add more chips to the pan, but at least it's a start. Now hopefully you've been able to learn some great tips on how to smoke on any Weber gas grill. Just remember, you always want to have enough fuel and follow the recipe for the specific wood type you're supposed to use and the amount. And if you have any other questions, Call our customer service at 1-800-446-1071, refer to your owner's manual, or find us here on Weber.com. And always, happy grilling.